What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode with your boy Franklin. This one is um, story time, okay? Right, so I got an email from a subscriber, a gentleman, I'm not going to name him. He um, sent me quite lengthy email, but um, I've sort of had to copy out to a uh, Word document and had to compress it for the sake of uh, you know, length of the video and, you know, time. Well, the gentleman in question has a younger brother who's based in Ghana. So he came to the UK uh, years ago on a Vistos visa and then the guy decided not to go back. So the older brother said, okay, cool, you can stay with me. Um, he had a two bedroom house at the time. You know, they had their little girl. He had a little girl who was staying in the bedroom. He was living in the master's bedroom with his wife. So what they did was they adjusted, you know, they had to inflict themselves with a degree of inconvenience in order to accommodate his younger brother. So the younger brother stayed in the daughter's room whilst the daughter moved into the main bedroom with them. So long story short, the brother has got indefinite leave to remain. Indefinite, if you're watching this for the first time or you don't understand what indefinite leave to remain for the benefit of this video, indefinite leave to remain is what you get in the UK after many years of you know uh, living in the UK and regularizing your um, your status. So basically, indefinite leave to remain simply means you become a permanent resident. He then took his indefinite leave to remain, which basically that's pretty much handing your personal your personal data to your younger brother. Right, which is basically comprises of your name, your date of birth, your national insurance number, and all that stuff. And it comes with a degree of risk. And let's not be sentimental. That in itself is an immigration offense. But he did that in the name of brotherhood, right? Helping your blood brother. So okay, you start working with this, start making money and all that stuff, find your feet. Then the agreement was later on, you're going to, you know, find a way to adjust, you know, sort your status out and stuff. Then I can take my my paper. So he, if he needed to travel, the older brother could just use his own British passport and stuff like that. Right. So you get the background, okay? So year after year and stuff, you know how it is, life abroad and stuff. The they're both living in the UK. Everything's going good. Then it got to a point. They had a misunderstanding over something. Then the older brother found out that his younger brother had, in fact obtained some bank loans and credit cards and did some crazy stuff with his personal details. That's to me, that's, that's just a degree of selfishness and also being heartless, okay? So put that one aside. Now, on top of all that, I think the older brother got pissed off and then said to him that, dude, you know what? Hand me back my papers. You should have you said to me that you're going to find a way to regularize your status and stuff. So the younger brother turned around and said, nope, I'm not going to give you the document since you've got your British passport. Now, check this. This is the man's details. My personal documents, my indefinite lift remain on my Ghanaian passport. I gave it to you as my brother. So he turned around and said, oh, do you, you already have the British passport and stuff. Or I'm not prepared to go and apply for anything else. I'm going to keep this for as long as I'm, al I'm, I'm alive. And stuff. So he then threatened his older brother that if he doesn't back away, he will take that document. Um, he was going to blow it open and you know let immigration know, and then UK border force would deport all of them or confiscate the papers and all that stuff. Whoa, your younger brother. Now here is the bomb shell. So this gentleman then found out that his younger brother has been sleeping with his wife man oh yeah you heard me i mean i'm i'm i was reading this and i just froze you know it, it's there are no surprises I, i'll be honest i've i've seen and i've heard similar stories over the years but it's just cold-hearted it's 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 mean it's evil but then again, welcome to, welcome to planet Earth. You know, it's filled. The heart of man is desperately wicked and the heart of man is filled to the brim with evilness. Your younger brother, first, is holding on to your personal documents. He wouldn't give them back. And then you find out that he's been shagging your wife for a good three years. <sighs> I'm not even going to delve into the matters about the wife and all that. Of course, she's, she's filthy as they come. 
but he didn't say much about her and stuff like that you know this man now has got major health problems and stuff like that so i'm going to say something to wrap this up and um so the younger brother now um, is becoming a major family problem um the younger brother now is threatening that should he do any type of shit about the document blah 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 he will let the immigration know that he will you know willfully gave him the documents and all that and has been working for x number of years and basically because the truth is let me look at the legal side of things right in the eyes of the law that's a blatant breach of immigration rules regardless of who you are helping your brother your cousin or whatever right because that's a straight abuse and the fact that you've lived here x number of years you, they gave you indefinite leave to remain. The country gave you the United Kingdom. Then a year after you, they also gave you your British citizenship. They have the power. And I mean, they have the absolute power to revoke, especially on those grounds. They will revoke the man's British passport, more than likely. And they can also absolutely destroy the indefinite leave to remain and kick him out of the UK. And he will be banned from ever coming back. Or And his details will more than likely be passed on to you know, Scandinavian countries or the European countries and even the American embassies and Canadian and all the these countries that they are allies with. They will make sure they shut you out into Africa and you never get to go to other countries. And that, that in itself will have a devastating impact on your life. But here is my take. It's, 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 and I, I've always said this, I've said this in maybe a couple of videos in the past, never apply sentiment. It's, look, listen, man, help in itself help is amazing the world goes around when you help when you show a degree a degree of um how do you say a degree of kindness kindness with no strings attached it's nice to help people okay i believe in helping people i've received help from people but playing with your personal document in the circumstances Particularly, look at someone that you've helped in the name of is my blood is my brother who has then turned around to get between your wife's legs, has been sleeping. So this guy pretty much came into your life and tore your life apart. My advice is, you are currently having health problems, I can imagine, from all the stress. Please take a step back. Health is wealth. I understand, you know, and I say this with all due respect to you, sir. Just reading this as an observer, it's painful. I'm gobsmacked. I don't even think I've been able to articulate myself as I should. But please don't get involved in physical violence. Because at the end of the day, if you do anything crazy, they will bang you up. There goes your freedom. You spend the rest, you know, a sizable number of years behind bars. Is it worth it? No. Eventually, you might get deported, right? There goes the end of your life. That woman, if, if they bang you up, that woman is still going to shag, sleep on another man, or per perhaps the same man, if he's not banged up as well. So, if you can move away from the relationship, you've not said anything about children when I'm... Oh, you said you had a daughter. I'm not sure if you have, you know, additional children now. Think about your children, your relationship with your children. Take some step back, look after your health, because you can possibly suffer from, suffer from stroke, uh, depression, heart problems and stuff. This is how some people just slump and die. Fact. Some people die. They just die. Because it's unbelievable. It's unbearable. I empathize with you. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm desperately sorry for what's, what's happened to you. Cut ties with your brother. Okay? I, I don't know how you, you're going to be able to revoke your documents. Because it's a difficult one. He's not willing to give you back your documents. He's, uh, he's threatening to make a bombshell of this and let the immigration people know and dis pretty much destroy the entirety of your life, you know. And it's, I don't know if your family, if you've got parents that can, but, but it's really complex. Help people, but don't hand anybody your passport. If you're watching this, don't. Look, this is what I'm telling you. Brother or no brother, sibling or no sibling, think about you first. Protect yourself. Always protect yourself. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, show your love, man. It's your boy, Franklin. Um, follow me on Instagram at Franklin. And um, yeah, if you want to send me stories uh, or any topics you'd like me to talk about, look in the description below, get in touch, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye now.